You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. First of all, let me start off by saying I am so grateful to be able to research, write, and film these segments about so many worthy and giving individuals, all of whom are CNAs, assisted living caregivers, patient care assistants, patient care technicians, home health aides, mental health technicians. And I'm so thankful that there are such caring and giving people in this world. Most of those we have featured would not consider themselves a hero, but we do. Heroes are born of situations where they give of themselves to help others. Sometimes giving away that which is most important and precious to them. This week's hero is no exception. Meet Honey Sales, a CNA at Freeman Hospital in Newcastle, England. She is the proud mother of one, 24-year-old Connor Marchbanks. July 10th of this year, 2019, Honey and her son enjoyed a full day of shopping. Just hours later, he suffered a severe bleed on his brain. The hospital struggled to save him, put him on a ventilator, but sadly, two days later, tests confirmed that he was brain dead. The cause of Connor's death was given as arteriovenous malformation on his brain, and his parents, Honey and Mark, were told he was otherwise fit and healthy. Honey approached the hospital about the possibility of organ donation. Because he was so fit and healthy and had a strong beating heart, she wanted to prevent someone else from going through the heartache of loss that she was experiencing. Honey and her husband, Mark, decided that donating their son's heart would be something that Connor would have wanted them to do. So they consented to donate his strong young heart to someone who needed it to live. Honey hopes that years down the road, she will be able to meet with the heart recipient and hear her son's heart still beating. Honey continues to struggle with her grief, but she hopes that her brave decision to share her experience can help others facing their own devastating dilemmas. Honey made the very difficult decision and she gave the ultimate gift of life to another human being, a stranger at that. I am in awe of her kindness, her bravery, and her compassion. There are so many others who need life-saving organ donations. According to the organization Donate Life America, there are 113,000 men, women, and children who are waiting for life-saving organ transplants in the United States alone. Even the largest football stadium in the U.S. could not fit the number of patients on the national transplant waiting list. 22 people die each day because they need an organ and it's not donated in time. Don't leave this difficult decision to loved ones. Declare your organ donation desires and register to be a donor if that's something you want to do. I personally have informed my wife and my children of my desire to donate viable organs. I have indicated so on my driver's license as well. Honey cells, I hope somehow we are able to get this video to you. You're an inspiration to me and so many others. Your generosity, love, and kindness humbles me. Everyone, please join me today in honoring Honey Cells. CNA Hero.